turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rocking if I can Good morning! It's a really sunny day and we are on our way to Guangxi Waterfalls, I think Leaving Wang Prabang, we've arrived at Kwangsi Waterfall. Um, so we're just gonna head in now. On the way into the, the main waterfall park, there's um, an Asiatic bear sanctuary with like several bears around um, under the Free the Bear campaign. So they're just trying to protect them and save them from uh, like performing and stuff. Um, so it's a nice initiative. are incredible the war is so clear and it's got this blue tinge to it and it's just oh it's beautiful <laughs> Doesn't matter where you are or which part you look at, it's just it's beautiful, all of it, like all the way up. So we're gonna walk up to the top of the mountain uh, first and get kind of all of our shots in, then we'll go for a swim on the way down. Um, it's twenty thousand kip each to get in here, which is like two dollars. Um, and then our tuk tuk out here was two hundred thousand. Although he said he's only gonna wait for an hour or two, but he's gonna be waiting longer than that. Um, so all in all, it's a pretty good value day, for two people. I've totally run out of superlatives for this waterfall. It's, it's perfection. Uh, we're gonna carry on up the stairs now um, and see how high we can get up it. So with all of the natural beauty around, Claire's decided to photograph a moth. Not the waterfall, a moth. It wasn't a moth, it was like a bright blue insect. <laughs> And I had it in the frame, and then and then it flew away, and then I felt it on my hand, and then I freaked out, and now it's over. <sighs> so, once you see the main waterfall at the tourist area, if you look to the left, there's some steps going up into the jungle. Really, really steep, especially if you're as unfit as me. 
Um, but when you get to the top of the hill, you should be able to look down from the main waterfall, um, getting a completely different perspective. Flying low under the radar Like a Nighthawk stealth plane you are Hiding out in the shadows Keeping from the light of day Nobody shoots We just climbed all the way to the top um, and unfortunately because of all the erosion and subsidence they've had to fence off the top of the waterfall which means you can't get to it uh, to see the view from the top so or you get like fleeting glimpses through a bush or something it's a bit of a shame but totally understandable there's a lot of water up here and it's just really soft mud so I imagine that people fall down quite easily across the top of the waterfall um waterfall. waterfall claire's mocking the way i say waterfall um and we saw a sign for cave and spring um so we're just following this kind of jungle path um there's nobody else here though which is i don't know it's good or bad um and there was a sign with a kilometer marker but the number had been broken off so literally have no idea how far this place is so we're just going to wander stumbled across this old glen with what appears to be an old bridge that's no longer in use. Uh, we got to the top of this path and then saw another sign that said the cave was still 1.7 kilometers away um, So we've just turned around uh, we've already come about 1.2 kilometers from the top of the waterfall And we need to get back down for our tuk-tuk driver um, who I'm sure is patiently waiting for us so um, Unfortunately no cave or spring, but to be fair that waterfall is probably the most beautiful one that I've ever seen Well definitely is that I've ever seen and probably for you as well. Yeah, it's like a different levels of collections of waterfall rather than just the one and so by the time you get up to the main waterfall which is incredible in itself you've already seen these like different i don't know what would you call it levels like a, well levels yeah but like platforms of waterfalls all like clustered it's just yeah. really cool it is cool so we're gonna head back down now then head back into town and then get some lunch So we're down off the top now, and it's so busy, it's like... Three times busier than it was before, um, so advice is come early before this place gets overrun, because right now there's nowhere to stand and get pictures of anything. Um, so actually, yeah, quite glad we came earlier. It's time to stand up straight Quangsi waterfall experience. It was excellent. The only thing we didn't do that we could have done was swim, but it was very cold and it's still quite cold with its wind travelling back. So we're, we're quite glad and we've had a, a quite a few things happening in the waterfalls so far. Yeah. So we don't really feel like we're missing out, but it was incredible. It was just a, such a beautiful place. It really calms you being there too. So we're back off the tuk-tuk, a bit bad and bruised, it was a rough journey. Um, I'm He's rocking some awesome hair. I am rocking some awesome hair. Um, so we're just going to get some food down by the river again. Um, and then probably relax for a bit. And then tonight we're going to go and see um, like an English book club. Claire yeah, can explain like it better. Yeah, it's a cultural centre where they, um, what's it called, Big Brother Mouse. Yeah. And they've got this massive project where they 
um, take books to schools um, because in Laos people haven't been reading for that long at all like the last 10 years or so has been really integral for the especially the younger generation learning to read for fun uh, more than anything because they've had textbooks but they not, didn't realise it was like a it could be fun or it could be pleasurable so um, we're going to check that out because you can have conversations with uh, adults who are wanting to learn um, English more fluently and in conversation with people who speak English fluently so hopefully we can go there and I'll be a little bit more fluent than I am right now <laughs> So we did go and see the Big Brother Mouse thing, but um, I didn't really want to film it because we were too busy talking to everybody there um, and having conversations. It was a really good experience. So if you're in the Wang Prabang, I uh, recommend just popping around and seeing it. Um, got a haircut as well, as you may notice. Um, so look a little bit I don't know, tidier, I guess. Um, so we're just going to say you know, good night now. Um, we're leaving the Wang Prabang and we're heading to Vietnam uh, very soon. So hopefully you can catch us there and if you like this video and if you want to follow us and keep up with our adventure then please hit the subscribe button um, and we will see you all again soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.